Pencils in Nottinghamshire will be among the first in the country to be investigated over historic child sex abuse claims at care homes. The move was announced by Justice Lowell Goddard, who's heading a national inquiry into child sex abuse allegations dating back to the 1950s. The inquiry will examine whether Nottingham City and Nottinghamshire County Councils failed in their duty to protect children in their care. Our correspondent Phil Brewster reports. We plan to investigate failings to protect children in the care or supervision of Nottingham and Nottinghamshire councils. Yes, it was the moment they'd been waiting for. Confirmation that after years of campaigning, claims of widespread sexual abuse of children at former care homes in Nottingham and Nottinghamshire will now be investigated. The announcement was made by Justice Lowell Goddard is leading a national inquiry into historical child sexual abuse claims dating back to the 1950s. I have no doubt that it will shine a light on the scale and patterns of child sexual abuse. For Mickey Summers, the move is particularly poignant. Allegedly abused himself as a child at care homes in Nottinghamshire, he's campaigned vociferously for an independent inquiry, but says without the support of others, he might not have been around to see today's news. I'm propped up emotionally, physically, by a band of people that without them this could not have happened. Um, it's an emotional roller coaster ride. But there are people that haven't made it. Um, for whatever you know has happened in their life, they weren't in a good place, that you know they went down the drugs, the alcohol route, they've been in prisons. You know, their, their voices will never be heard. But other people, other survivors, you know, they need to realise that they're not just standing up for themselves, they're standing up for all survivors. During the 1990s, Joni Cameron Blair worked as a children's home inspector in Nottinghamshire. She claimed she reported youngsters being abused and neglected, but that her concerns were ignored by the authorities. So today's news has left her elated. It's everything I've ever wanted. And I'm absolutely over the moon that finally someone seems to understand the issues and they're going to be looking at those issues and that is just incredible. Today's news comes at a time when Nottinghamshire Police Force is running two separate investigations into allegations of child abuse. Operation Daybreak, which centres around the former Beechwood Children's Home in Nottingham, and Operation Zeres, which is looking at historical child abuse allegations at different care facilities across the county. It's thought today's announcement might now encourage others who've not yet come forward to report abuse to do so. A possibility Nottinghamshire's chief constable says his force is prepared for. Not only prepared, but will be pleased to receive it. We've been working since 2010 on historical abuse investigations, and our two investigation teams have been working on different but linked inquiries. We're constantly encouraging victims to come forward and report to us so that we can make sure that they receive the support they need and the perpetrators, wherever we can, are brought to justice. I'm confident that the police today are investigating these things seriously. I can't be confident that they did that 50 years ago. I think they did. I think they tried hard. But I'm pretty sure that mistakes may have occurred. We need to look at what's happened, see what went wrong, and if, if, if mistakes have occurred, own up to it and apologise. Today's announcement by Justice Goddard is the beginning of what is likely to be a long and difficult process, but one she says is vital in uncovering the truth of what happened. It will allow victims and survivors of abuse to contribute to the work of the inquiry and help us to gain a better understanding of why many crimes went unreported and undetected for so long. Well, Phil joins us now from the newsroom. Phil, what's the timeline in terms of what happens next? Well, Matt, the timetable of this inquiry is in fact already underway. The Goddard inquiry is due to have a regional office set up in the Midlands by summer of next year. But before that, any abuse victims who wish to get evidence or provide testimony will be able to apply to do so before the end of this year, ahead of preliminary hearings in February next year. Now, Justice Goddard has stressed that all that sort of survivor evidence will be heard in private, but has also said that the outcome of any of those, many of those investigations could result in major public hearings. Now, that's something that the Bassett Law MP, John Mann, has been campaigning long and hard for. And today, he encourages as many people as possible, ex-survivors, to come forward and give evidence to the Goddard inquiry. I hope, and I know, that a lot of people the word abused as children terribly. 
in Nottinghamshire will come forward and there are a lot of my constituents who want to give evidence to Justice Goddard, I'll ensure that they have assistance in being able to do so. Their voices need to be heard and then there needs to be action. Phil, we spoke about uh, Nottingham City and Nottinghamshire County Councils. So what have they both had to say today? Well, Samira, they both issued a joint statement today in which they said that we welcome the independent scrutiny that the Goddard inquiry will bring to cases of historical abuse and will fully engage with it. The safety and well-being of children in our care today must be and is of the highest priority. Now, of course, it must be stressed that this investing could go on for months, if not years. But in the meantime, it's fair to say that the spotlight is well and truly on Nottinghamshire and all those who are responsible for children in their care all those years ago. Okay, Phil, thank you very much.